Well, when it comes to seafood, farm to table is a notion that's taken on a literal meaning. Fish farming or aquaculture has seen a stunning increase over the years, but traditional fish farming methods have numerous challenges. And as CCTV's Tracy Tandon reports, one man is on a mission to change that. As wild fish continue to deplete in population, aquaculture has become one of the fastest growing agribusinesses in the world. And here in Nova Scotia, farming salmon is big business. The most common method used is open pen farming, where salmon are raised in the ocean using submersible cages. Although it's a method that's been around for decades, it's contentious, particularly in Nova Scotia, Canada's largest fish exporter. Experts say open pen farming is one of the most harmful methods of aquaculture. Who have 500,000, 300,000 fish in a small cage that are swimming around in a circle and you get an outbreak of sea lice, all of the fish get, get, get contaminated with sea lice. They say, okay, fine, we've got to get rid of the sea lice. How do we do it? Well, we use chemicals. Kirk Havercroft is the CEO of Sustainable Blue, a close containment salmon farm that's Canada's first land-based operation. Every step of the salmon's life cycle, from egg to smolt to adult, happens in a closed environment. It's an expensive process, but one that poses less threat to the environment. So we don't have any of the problems of either receiving disease from the ocean because we're running in a sterilized operation. We also don't pass any problems back out to the ocean because we simply don't discharge. Fish consumption around the world is outpacing beef, pork and poultry, with most of the demand coming from Asian countries like China. 20 years ago, of all the fish that we consume around the world, the majority of that came from the ocean. That's not true anymore. Now, the World Bank estimates that by 2030, 62% of all of the seafood consumed around the world will be farm-raised. Therefore, experts say it's not only important to get it right from a sustainability point of view, but that farm-raised operations also need to be environmentally friendly and ultimately safe for the consumers. In a world, uh, you'd like to see it all land-based. But I'm also a realist. Nova Scotia has a lot of salt water. There is room for uh, marine finfish aquaculture if it is done properly. Havercroft also plans to license his water filtration technology so more close containment farmers can enter the market. If there is going to be a change in the way that we produce salmon in sea cages, that, the, the driver for that change will come from the consumer. As farmed fish becomes a key source of protein for people around the world, experts say it's imperative for consumers and governments to support close containment fish farms. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, Nova Scotia.